Eliza Weidel, Wake County PTA Council President, with this month's Parent Tips. Traditional school students are back in session after a long summer break, and many of you may have met the teacher your child will be with for the next 180 days. Wow, you know, that's a long time in your child's life. And if things aren't going well, it can be a long time in your life as well. Take the time to really get to know your child's teacher and take advantage of every opportunity to volunteer in the classroom. Soon, teachers will be setting aside time for that first parent-teacher conference. And this month, we feature tips that can make that conference the best ever. Before the conference, talk to your child. Tell him that you're going to meet with the teacher. See if there are any questions he wants you to ask and if there are family issues or medical concerns that should be shared. Make a list of the questions you want to ask the teacher. They may be general. Is my child working to his best ability? Or more specific, may I see something my child has written? the day of the conference. Be sure to check into the office upon your arrival and get a visitor's pass. Be prompt. Show up at the time of your appointment. Remember that teacher's days are full and they won't be able to devote the necessary amount of time to you unless they are expecting your visit. During the conference, listen carefully to what the teacher has to say. Be sure to take notes to help you remember tips they may offer in improving your child's academic achievements. A good conference is a two-way exchange. If the teacher says everything is fine, be sure to ask for ways you can improve the home learning environment. If you hear disappointing news about your child, such as he doesn't get along well with others, listen carefully and try to understand by asking questions. Could you give an example, or does it happen often? Find out what you can do to help. If you don't agree with the teacher, set up a separate time to discuss the issue in detail. In the conference on a positive note, Thank the teacher for his time and emphasize the actions you will both take together. Make sure your child knows that his family and the teacher are working together on his behalf. After the conference, discuss what happened with your child and other family members so that everyone can act quickly on any suggestions the teacher has made. If you feel there's a problem and no conference is coming up, feel free to call the school and ask for one. Now is the time to join your school's Parent-Teacher Association. Parents are encouraged to participate in local PTAs to learn positive ways to be effective advocates for their child's education. For more information, visit us on the web at wakeptacouncil.org. From one parent to another, I'm Liza Waddle with this month's Parent Tips.